Hello everyone, welcome back to Magic the Gathering Arena. We're playing Quick Draft Strixhaven again. We'll see how it goes, as always. Sometimes well, sometimes poorly, sometimes in the middle. Lorehold Command. The command cards are all pretty good, I think. Lorehold kind of stinks. Let's see what their command is. Five mana. Choose two. Make a token. Creatures get plus one plus zero and indestructible and haste. Three damage to any target, sack a permanent, then draw two cards. It does seem pretty good in, like, red-white semi-aggro kind of stuff. Heated Debate might be better. Or Mage Hunter's Onslaught, but I think I'd rather take Heated Debate. Let's see how good it thinks Lorehold Command is. Is it actually worth first picking? Because, like, it's... It's five mana... For like a removal and also some other stuff, right? Not not large removal, small removal, but still something. I bet it's playable, but it shouldn't be insane. Oh, it's actually great. Okay. Like it is near the top of the great first picks category. That surprises me a little. Huh. It's actually the highest rated of the command cards little surprising. Kind of a lot surprising, actually. Silver Quill's just under it, I guess, and so is Primal Command, which is a different thing. It's just green. Um, what are all the other command cards, anyway? Quandrix Command... Yes, yeah, there's a bunch of these. I don't know. All right. I mean, I'll take the Lorehold Command, I guess. Hope to pick up Heated Debate, but no, there's no way that's going to happen. What's my second card in this pack? I don't know. Maybe just, like, Introduction to Prophecy, if I'm lucky? I'm not going to take Reconstruct History. It's just so garbage. I think we take a heated debate here. This is a pretty solid red card, and it made it um, past righty, so... I mean, sure, they just picked, like, whatever the rare was in this pack, so it's not telling me a lot, but... I'd love for Lefty to see no red and be like, okay, maybe I'm not drafting red. A lot of solid-looking Lorehold cards in this pack, actually. The main one I'm looking at is Lorehold Pledge Mage. Expel's okay. Tome Shredder's fine. Hall Monitor might actually be pretty good in this deck, but I think the Lorehold Pledge Mage is way better. Dueling Coach is decent. Um, but it's a bit slow. The Pledge Mage is ranked 276, which kind of surprises me. Dueling Coach ranked 226. I mean, we could take it, I guess. Um, but... Okay, I mean, I guess this only costs one more than the Pledge Mage. But, like, a first strike creature that gets bigger is so scary. I want the Pledge Mage. Hmm. Not much here in red-white, huh? There's Thrilling Discovery, which I don't much like. Growth Spiral, if I wanted to tra change to blue-green, but there's nothing here that really appeals. Thrilling Discovery is fairly bad, I think. It's solid draw, like, if... Um... If, like... 
it's like turn six or something and you have a bunch of lands you don't want. All right, discard and draw is an okay effect, but I don't I don't want to be in that position, right? What else could I take here? Is there some way to stay open to other colors? I think Grinning Ignis is total garbo, so I'm not going to take it. Take the Pillar Drop Rescuer. It is like it is a white card. You know what? This might just be fine. It's a bad card, but you know, it's some top end, I guess. I don't know. I'm just going to keep playing cheap cards, I think. And try to, you know, use this to redraw. Beaming Defiance is solid. Star Pupil is fine. Sudden Breakthrough is fine. Stonebound Mentor. I mean, it's a 3-mana three 3-3, three, three, which is nice. The effect kind of sucks. I... Sudden Breakthrough is a little bit less good than usual because I have, like, my my only creature so far already has First Strike. Um, I think I'll just take the Beaming Defiance. Because it also, like, helps if they're trying to remove my thing with damage. Sure. I could take a Lesson, but I think this is totally fine. Divine Gambit? <laughs> um, I'm trying to so far to kill opponents fairly quickly so that well in general at the moment it seems i'm trying to kill them and that means like quickly that is I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm not really committed to anything but if i play this too soon it's like a very bad card if you play it late it's pretty good i was gonna take beaming defiance it's it's totally playable all monitor is actually looking pretty all right uh, I mean, so is Pigment Storm. It's very expensive, but it's damage and removal. I think I'll wait on this. Just take some cheap stuff. I, I don't, I mean, no guarantee, obviously, that I can get the card back or anything. Um, we're never going to run Explosive Welcome. Could take a Lorehold Campus. I think that's fine compared to a Sudden Breakthrough. Reconstruct History, unsurprisingly, came back. So did the Relic Sloth. Just, like, is not good. Relic Sloth is too... I mean, it has Menace. It's just so... Ugh. It doesn't really fit with anything this deck is doing. I just, like, never like Relic Sloth. I think I'll just... Take the introduction to Prophecy. Okay, and I got a Hall Monitor anyway. Oh, another Hall Monitor, I should say. Ignis is pretty bad. Sudden Breakthrough is fine. Stone, these are all fine. Hmm. This deck does not seem that good right now. Has a few creatures. I don't really want a treasure token. This is cool as removal, I guess. But I think I'll just take a three drop. We're gonna try and run creatures. This this is in my colors, right? I could play double red for it. I don't really have anything I want to double yet, so. All of oracles? Huh. So it adds colorless. And it has this ability that instead, 
if you've already played an instant or sorcery, you can put a counter on something. Interesting. You know, and it also lets you splash lots of colors, maybe. Not that I really would. I don't want to rely on drawing it. Um, everything else here sucks. I could take the Lorehold Campus, but I think this is an interesting, like, you know, counters are pretty cool for being aggressive. I bet this is not a very highly rated land. It's fine, actually. It's rated pretty good. Nice. Conspiracy Theorist is Bananas. I think I like him a lot more than Quintorius. Pigment Storm is okay, but I really want the Conspiracy Theorist. Defiant Strike. This is that white card I was trying to think of in the last draft or the one before when there was like, there's a white card that like, I, there was some time when I was thinking about my opponent might have a one mana white instant and uh, this is the one I was thinking of. But I couldn't think what it was called or exactly what it did. Another Lorehold Pledge Mage. I think that's good. Star from Scratch is also okay. But I'd rather just take a good card. Lorehold Apprentice has got to be... Oh, God, really? I forgot the Lorehold synergies all suck. Do I even have any spirits? One. This one. Still, it's a two mana two two. I mean, what can you say? We like two mana two twos. Could take introduction to annihilation. Did I end up getting any lessons or learn cards yet? I don't think so, right? I think I'll just take the Lorehold Apprentice. It's like gross, but well, actually, maybe enthusiastic study would be better. I do have a lesson over here. On the other hand, we usually get offered enough of these. I'll take the Lorehold Apprentice so I have a two drop if I need it. Yuck. Um, just another... Well, this is really slow, but it would let me play um, Lorehold Command twice, I guess. Because that, that, like, creatures you control get plus one, plus zero, and haste, and indestructible till end of turn. That's a really good way to push damage through. Right? Um, so opponents don't want to block. But if they don't, they take a bunch of damage. Yeah, this does a lot. And, and if you create a 3-2 uh, token, that gets haste and uh, indestructible as well. So playing it twice would be kind of nice. But I don't... I think I want to run this just for that purpose. I think I just want to run like another combat trick. Or a lesson? No, not really. I already have two of these. I don't really... Do I need more? Yes. Heated debate. Standout card here. Well, there's absolutely nothing here except more Beaming Defiance. Reconstruct History to play the Lorehold Command again? I think that's just crazy. We got a Lorehold Apprentice again. And these are both two mana two twos, and they both have a tap ability that's related to spirits. This one is a spirit, though. So it could benefit from the other Lorehold Pledge Mage I have. Or Apprentice, rather. I mean, I don't think there's a big difference here. They're both just like mediocre two drops. 
I guess I'll take another apprentice. Would I splash blue for this? I don't think so. No, it's just like, that's crazy. Don't, don't do that. I probably wouldn't run this either, but at least it is something I can play. All right, well, that's a lesson. I don't really want this. I probably don't want my thrilling discovery either. Okay, so here's a white creature. We're not going to play the black side. Two mana, one one, flying vigilance. Tapped, put counters on each creature that entered the battlefield under your control this turn. That's pretty good, I think. Can't work on itself. Guiding voice is probably okay, but... This is just a way to get all my creatures buffs. And it may attract some premium removal, perhaps. Another enthusiastic study, or could we try to run a Silver Quill Pledge Mage? It'll be playable fairly often, even on three. And getting flying is kind of cool. But we're just like more enthusiastic study. I think we'll just take more enthusiastic study. Pigment Storm. Well, actually, Mascot Interception might be a better way to push through lethal. Yeah, okay. Take a campus, there being nothing good here. Another hall monitor is fine. Environmental studies is... Probably not that exciting for me. You know, the fact that it draws a land means your next draws are less likely to be lands, but not by much. And I don't think I super need the mana. Nothing. I choose none of these. Claim the firstborn. I think I'd do better off just taking a three drop. Make your mark, huh? I guess that's the way it's got to be. Clever Lumamancer isn't bad. Oh my god, look at that curve. Um, yeah, we're going to actually need to put one more card in. We're running like 16, maybe just 15 lands. I think this is actually a pretty reasonable 15 land deck. Elix Sloth? I don't know, this all sucks. Illustrious Historian. It's a 2-mana two 2-1. Two I think that's actually pretty okay. Don't I have a 2-mana two 2-2 two two sitting around, or did I cut that? I definitely don't have one of those. Okay, but I could run, like, Prismari Pledge Mage as a 2-mana 3-3. Three three and try to activate it fairly often.
Huh. Claim the firstborn, huh? Well, I mean, we're certainly taking it. I don't know whether we're running it. I mean... 15 lands. Might make it hard to play Lorehold Command, I guess. But really, like, my whole deck is twos and threes. I could take the Thrilling Discovery. Or if I draw something too heavy, or if I draw too many lands, I think that's okay. Seems kind of wacky, but it also has Spellcraft. You know, maybe four Beaming... How many creatures do I even have? A lot. Four Beaming Defiance is probably okay. What about Make Your Mark or Claim the Firstborn? Do I want to cut any of those for Prismari Pledge Mage? I have four proactive two drops. I think this deck has a few too many non-creatures. Let's cut a Beaming Defiance and put in a Prismari Pledge Mage. Okay, I don't know. This seems like another bad deck. <laughs> um, sure, we'll call it Lore Old Command though. Kazook? Kazuki? Kazuke? Kaizook? What the hell is this? Get out of here. I don't want no stinking friends list. Off. Uh, I mean, this looks pretty good. I have two mana and some two drops, right? A third mana, even. Well, I want to play the red because I have a card that costs two red. So hiding the fact that I'm red from them is not worth much. Rather, I mean, like... Okay, this is great. We're just gonna... I could attack with the 3-3. Th three, three. They could double block that. Oh, I forgot this is Vigilant. It can attack and then also buff. I missed a damage there. Um. Oh no, they can't double block because the first strike will kill one of them. Nice. And then the other one won't have enough damage to, to attack back. So we're just going in here. Oh, it has reach. Oops. Oh no. My 1-1. One, one. And I didn't even play the creature first, so I can't use this tap ability. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this game. This could have been a 4-4. Four, four. I was just so focused on whether this guy could attack, I forgot to consider whether the other one can, because it's a flyer. Of course it can. They don't have any flyers. I could take their 1-1, I guess? 
I don't see any very compelling reason to do that. I think I want to attack with the 3-3 three, three and then give it Trample, and that seems pretty cool. I could do this as well, but why? I guess just to spend my mana and get some damage in. One mana, deal one damage. Oh, deal three damage. Yeah, that's all right. Why does this... Oh, Magecraft, right. And I don't mind attacking with the 3-3 three, three either. Yeah, just go with everything. We're getting in for seven. I could make it ten. I think I'd rather just play the Lorehold Apprentice and keep this threat for my first striker. I kind of liked this. I guess I still like it. I can use this next turn. Well, if I play this, then I won't have enough cards to discard, right? If I, if I want to keep this and also play this. How important is a 3-3? I mean, it seems kind of cool. Yeah, okay. No blocks, come on in. I hate you. I guess I just remove their 2-3 and attack with my 3-3. Still don't really have time to play this. I think I'm behind. Opponent has... Well, they're, they're only just now getting to 5 mana. I guess that's something. They have a lot of life and a decent board, but it's not amazing. Do I give this? No. I want to make it hard for them to block my other creatures, right? This is already hard for them to block. So I guess I make the Pledge Mage into a 5-3? Or the Apprentice, rather? I 
I don't have the mana for Scry then draw. I think I just want to like have deal one to any target. The worst shock in the world. Now, this is eight, so they have to block something. And whatever they're blocking, they're kind of going to hate blocking. What if I tried attacking with the Hall Monitor? Could I get away with that, or would they just block it, like... I don't know. Here and here, taking five? I don't think I want to do this. I don't think I want to attack with the 1-1. One, one. Oh, I hate this game. Big play is pretty cool. Oh, that's that's got it. Well, lower hold command. I could. Well, I don't have five mana. Yeah. I'm not coming back from this. Okay, we didn't quite manage to power him down. I missed one damage, and also I threw away the creature that was supposed to win the game for me, so that's maybe a big problem. See if they forget to block. Unluckily, they remember. Okay, so reach reach is a thing. That was by far the biggest mistake that game. Um, evidence that I'm not quite ready for the pro circuit just yet. Four mana, okay, I mean, this is fine. Nothing to write home about, but... More mana than you would expect to draw in this deck. More mana than I had by, like, turn 10 the last game. Another red white deck playing Prismari Pledge Mage. And they have the Stonebound Mentor, which I also have. Hmm. I guess I'll just play the Pledge Mage and pass, keeping the land in hand to discard the Thrilling Discovery eventually. Like, I wouldn't mind a fourth mana, but I'm not dying to have it, and I do love cards.
pretty good magecraft ability. What is this? Draw two, then discard two. I wish I had that. I don't know, I guess this is like okay. This is really scary, actually. Yeah. I guess I just like double block this 3 3. It's a little tempting to wait, and then I can, like, double block with first strikers in the future that I could, like, buff and then take no damage, but I think this is the way to go. They have another buff, like a make your mark. How bad is that? It's fine. Oh, actually, it's horrible because they have a magecraft thing. Oh, no. Any instant and I'm toast. And they have one, yeah. <sighs> oh no, well it did still die at least. I thought we weren't able to kill it. Huh. Flash this back, maybe? No. So I guess in fairness, my two cards traded for their two cards, even though one of theirs was pretty cheap. Hmm. The game's going badly, though. They can just buff that thing to high heaven, I guess. The two pledge mages are doing a lot of work, though. They have to attack with a giant creature to get through it. Sorry, how did that get exiled? Oh, because of this. Or how did, how did I take the damage, rather? Okay. I should probably remove something. I don't know how I'm ever killing them. It's kind of a problem. Just tee the debate on this before it gets out of control, I guess. Maybe I could attack with one of these and still hold the other back as a blocking threat. A little greedy, but I kind of have to be a little greedy, I think. Is there anything I want not to block? No, I need to keep my mana.
Okay, they're nearly tapped out, but they might have like a make your mark or something. Or maybe even a shock. Shock just blows me out no matter what. Um, actually, let's kill this thing. Oh, it's not attacking. Right. And I'll just chump here, save some damage. The 1-1's one not doing anything. Like, they have so many cards in their hand somehow. I don't... <laughs> it's not possible. I guess it's because they played... Faithless Looting twice. Are you kidding me? X is 2. That's what I thought. I hate emptying my hand. Now they know I have nothing, but I do want to be able to scry, since I do, in fact, have nothing. This is a nightmare. Lorehold the command be enough to come back? I don't think so, but I'll stick around in case I'm wrong. I really don't need this. There's the Lorehold command, so what are some things I can do? an instant. Deal three damage to, like, the wolf before it gets out of control? I guess we can see if they're willing to attack. Probably not, though, right? In which case, Lorehold Command would be better played on my turn, where they can't buff the wolf in response. Top decking Heated Debate still kills the wolf, that's something. Yeah, I hate you. Can I afford to just keep doing damage to myself to scry? Not really. 
I could kill this thing, I guess. And make a 3-2. You have two instants, I'm completely dead, but I think if you had two instants, I was dead anyway. I mean, this can be a very powerful attacker if I played this, but... I just attack, like, they just let it in, and they say, LOL, good job. You just have to do nothing and, like, hope to draw enough creatures that... Like, they're sitting back passively just enjoying this game, right? I can't even scry, because it kills me. I could, but I the damage is kind of important. Whereas they have, like, one or two answers to whatever I might do, and are just gradually letting their wolf get bigger. I think... Uh, I don't know, man. There's just no coming back, right? Claim the firstborn is something. can take over a pledge mage. Say I did that and attacked the pledge mage. I have three, three, two first strikers. No, that one's only two, two. I can buff the other one. introduction to prophecy here and that's about it I guess okay let's do this to just get some damage in I guess I don't want to swing with these guys I need some blockers back. Yeah, this didn't really accomplish much, huh? I just got, like, some damage in, I guess. If I play this now, it does, like, five damage and learns. And I guess I want to learn. So I'll take the 5 damage, even though it sucks. Oh, I could do 1 damage to any target? I would like that a lot, actually. Kill this 2-1 so I could start scrying again. Spell, huh? Good card. And they can pick something back up as well. Okay, I mean, if this 
kills some creatures, I'm still in bad shape, but if it doesn't, I'm like definitely dead. Okay, I don't seem to have any relevant resistance. If they have any instant, I'm dead. Or sorcery. If they don't, I'm probably also dead. Okay. Very funny. Why can I not play this? Oh, creatures you control. Okay. Well, we'll try to get a win. I don't know. I don't know how to build aggro decks. Like, I had that, my first successful seven win run in recent memory was that, like, red-white aggro deck in the, um, in the previous format, um, Crimson Vow. And that was cool. I think red-white is a lot weaker in this set, but I think it's not this week. I'm just bad. I don't really have any plays, by the way. I seem to get a third mana, then everything... I also... Well, yeah, and then I have a creature and many... Two creatures in a couple instants, okay. Hello. Oh, I do have three lands. That's a mountain. I forgot what mountains are. And the Hall of Oracles is already, like, better than a mountain or a plains, so... Definitely glad I took it. Um, what, what is this garbage? Okay, because I, I have all the colors I need, right? So... Colorless is just fine, and it has this other ability that's cool. More red-white. This is our second red-white match, isn't it? The first one wasn't, but the last game was. And they just absolutely smoked me. I'm not gonna block if they... Okay, well now I will. Now that they're tapped out. Because I have some useful... Um... Mm. I was thinking first, let's heat a debate that, and then tap to add a... But actually what would be better is to play a creature that really likes to get counters. And then next turn I can heat a debate and then put a counter on the, my double striker. I should tap differently, actually. This being exposed is stupid. It shows them I don't have any spells that are relevant. Okay, maybe he's a debate on that instead.
Now I could swing here and get in four damage. I think that's better than not doing it. Okay, it doesn't get in for damage, it kills this thing. That's fine, I guess. I think combining this with this might be enough to actually win us the game. The Shaman and the Hall of Oracles are, are very... Like, obviously, if they can ever remove it, it's like really quite sad for me. Are you kidding me? Um, no block, I guess. Why did they gain life? Oh, they didn't. I just didn't get to hit them because, yeah, the star people blocked. Um, How much damage would it be if I put both things on this and then attacked? Plus two, plus five, so it would be it would be a seven three with double strike. That's cool. What if I just played this? Destroy their two three, and then make my creatures indestructible. Okay, fine. Actually, Indestructible is not that good. Yeah, so three damage to that target and just make a 3-2, I think? Because the Indestructible doesn't matter, and it's just like if this would be three damage to face. I'd rather have a 3-2. I'm the player gaining life. Making a 3-2 and then giving it haste and everything plus 1 plus 0 would have been more damage, but that thing was a big problem. Okay. Heated debate on the 3-3 three three is pretty cool. Can't make it big enough to dodge. Oh, you also don't have any way to use that ability at all, anyway. Okay, Beaming Defiance will do. Wow, very good timing. I managed to get the extra counter on this before they could remove it. It's a three mana card? Yeah. I'm happy enough to just play this... like, main, main phase. <laughs> uh, just so I can get the extra token on. Or counter. Hmm, probably the scry, right? The one damage is not that important. 
Although I guess it does <laughs> threaten lethal. I'm threatening lethal already. And I still have enough, by the way, to cast Beaming Defiance in case they have some trick to kill me here. To kill it, rather. Seems unlikely. They're just gonna have to start chumping creatures now. Maybe I could have even swung with the 3-2? I don't know. I like having a blocker. I just didn't really think that much about it. Oh, this is lethal. See ya. I guess I could have <laughs> cast it before first strike to do a bit more damage. Cheeky. Sloppy. Both of those things. Alright, we gotta win. We gotta win. King of the aggro decks. Yeah, when you connect those two, it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know. It might be cool in other situations as well, but not the ones that I have been playing in. Francesco 93 maybe could be how you might pronounce that um this is not good this is fine thrilling discovery is not that good claim the firstborn is probably even worse this early i don't know when am i gonna have three cards right it could happen i guess Hmm. Do I play this to get some damage in, or wait until turn 3 to play it so that I can get a counter on it? I think I'll actually wait. No bops, please. Don't bop it with whatever you might bop things with. More red-white. Who plays this? Not that good. I can get rid of Make Your Mark and Hall Monitor to like try to draw more lands, but I don't think I will. If they have Expel, then I don't like having tapped. Oh, ha! They don't know that I'm mana screwed and have no plays to follow this up. Got them. They think I'm an aggro deck. Joke's on them. I, I'm not a deck. I'm just two cards. <laughs> okay, well, two, two and two. You know, this deck might actually reach the high bar of being called average. Failure. Okay. This hand's okay. It has a two drop and, you know. I think we're mostly happy to draw three lands in this deck. I don't really want four, though. No, I should play the creature that can attack. Blue-green. 
Okay, they get a 2 2 land. Creature land. Well, see you later, I guess. Kind of sucks I didn't play this guy. I could wait, I guess. But yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is a better way to get damage. I can kill the land later. Yes, it's nice to take down their curve, but I I can give I can afford to give them one turn of extra mana, I think. In exchange for getting in three damage. Hopefully. Exile X cards, put a study counter on each of them. Okay, so this is a draw card. A very expensive draw card. What if I just like play Beaming Defiance? I think that's crazy, isn't it? It's like I could play the Lorehold Apprentice as well if I did that. And then Beaming Defiance here. And then attack. Get in five? No, seven, because pres presumably they wouldn't block. Seven is kind of tempting. Their 3-3 Flyer's ability isn't really much of anything, and neither is its flying. It's just, like, a 3-3. Three, three. Okay, copying that is pretty cool. You get to draw a lot. I guess the fact that it's a wizard actually means it does something, but I don't think I should have worried about this. It's both unlikely and also, like, a card isn't really what they need right now. I get to play this, that's kind of cool. Can't be countered. Are you gonna buff your thing or I could swing with these two, cash in two damage in exchange for one of my two twos? I think that's as good as they're gonna do, really. Well, no. You might actually be able to stop it from blocking. Let's say no on those attacks. Three one is no huge concern, I think. So what if hmm. What if I stop the 3-1 from blocking? And then make your mark on a 2-2 two -two and attack with it? It seems okay. Hang on. It costs Ward 2. I wouldn't be able to do that. I could stop you from blocking and then swing with everything, including a make your mark. Maybe not including you? Sure.
Do I make your mark for face damage or for a 3-2? Surely for a 3-2, right? Okay. For neither, it turns out. Another sizable creature. Sure. Wouldn't mind a land. This is also good, I think. But I think if I just play Enthusiastic Study on you, you're not a spirit. Okay. Then I can attack for three, which they double block for a 2 2, but then I'm in for five. Actually, if I attack with everything. And put this here. Then they have to lose a creature to my 3-3, three, three, I think. I could also just play this and like... <sighs> but if I give them one turn of breathing room, they might land a heavy creature. Right now I can make them make a not very good trade. I think I have to take that. Oh, one damage to any target. Haha. <laughs> we love that card. Spooky, spooky alert. That's pretty good for them. That's like game over, I think. That's also good. Where did they get all this mana? Uh, okay, um, Lorehold Command? Where are you at, my bro? This is a threat. Okay. No box. Okay, they don't seem to have any combat tricks. I think they would have attacked with their 2-2 if they had any. Well, no. I guess they needed the mana for this. Because they didn't need a combat trick, but they did need some mana available. They, they maybe couldn't play both. Hmm. They should probably remove one of my first strikers. I don't know which one. I mean, okay, if they have a combat trick, I'm dead, but that was always true. And I assume they do. Yeah. Alright, well, I mean, see you later, I guess.
There you go. Two and three. That's what I deserve. Nothing good should ever happen to me. There's my prize. 200 gems. Amazing. Oh well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.